Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Apple Dreadnoughts, where I'm picking right where the previous episode left off with these very interesting looking American ships going up against our channel fleet. Although I really should put things back into millimeter mode. There we go. Um, the other thing I should do, although I'm on 190 for building here, I'm at more like one one fifty ish. So uh, I'm just going to tone that down. Plus, that is their enemy armor quality across their fleet. Apart from the Pasadena here, which has 155. Let's go. Tactics here, because I have a very weird collection of ships, is basically to break up my fleet and fight with each ship more or less individually. Um, which is not what you want to do that is not ideal but that is how the french fleet is basically set up so we're going to split all the ships off from each other right leal you are a oh you're brand new oh nice and you're fast so you're going to go ahead you are also fast. You can follow her. Revanche. You are not fast. Eroin. You are also not fast, but you're a little bit faster than uh, Revanche. Provence. You are very slow. Petri. You are very slow. Well, let's see how the glorious French fleet does. Uh, they look rather magnificent. Clearly the most important aspect of any fleet is how you look. Yeah, see, this one's using the old Mark III's. That is our newest ship. Well, newest ship in service. Uh, actually, yeah, no, she is. She's even newer than the Musketeers. Right. It depends where the enemy is. Dead ahead. I have to remember the enemy cruisers are very valuable targets. Yeah, there's four cruisers coming in. Go ahead. Target the lead ship. Lille. Target the second ship. Provence. The third. Eruin. The fourth. And the other two can shoot at whatever they want. We're a 100% broadside fleet. So let's get broadside. Still pretty far away. Not expecting much here. Oh! Head to the bridge. That is rude. A bit of a weird layout, this thing. That sticky out tall turret. Don't, not a huge fan of that. That must be the heavy cruisers. Oh, this is one of those god awful light cruisers with, which make no sense. Because yeah, the main tower is supposed to go there. By the way, and they've stuck it way at the front. Have a look at your capital ships. Ah, oh, see now that. That's a lot more like it. But those are not Mark IV guns. Those are definitely Mark III's. Possibly even Mark II's. 
And at the back we have the Battlecruiser also not sporting high-end guns. Interesting. Well, that's to my advantage. Nice shot, Leal. It's a little bit of damage in. I'm not wanting to close in until I have a much better idea of what I'm up against. IDs are only about half done. Oh, nice hit. the cruisers and then move in on the battleships is probably my best plan. Two far ships are kind of circling around while the others are yeah, doing fine. Destroyed a main gun. Interesting. Again, just want IDs. I want to know what I'm looking at. It's always the biggest risk. Oh, nice. <laughs> Some huge hits from Leal there. Sinks that cruiser. Is that a light cruiser? It is. Let's have a quick look at it. Uh, mainly, why are you so expensive? Diesel engine. Yeah, that'll do it. Oxygen torps. Lots of them. I'm glad she is out of the way. Otherwise we're looking okay. Right. Heavy cruiser. The fall or ever. Mark four guns on her. Wow, that's quite a lot of armor. Mm -hmm. Also using the diesel engine. Yeah, that'll explain the prices. And then the St. Paul... Wow, even more armor. Is that the original one? Yeah, it might be. Yeah, she uses a turbo electric engine. Americans like their. Interesting engines, I suppose. Some of the 155s opening up. Oh, do you have the Missouri I need? Some quick go. Hit on the secondary tower of the South Dakota. Mark twos. Oh goodness. Okay, twenty-one knots. They do have armor. Well, that's not a huge amount. Um, I 
Yeah, they seem okay. Uh, nothing to sniff at. As I said, we need to uh, be a little bit canny here. We need to... Yeah, be sure that we're ready to take them on. Definitely want to eliminate those cruisers, though. Nice shot. Main belt pen on the Fall River. Ooh, another main belt pen. That one did a lot more damage. Gun. Oh, and getting a big hit in. Another big hit from Revanche. Right, Fall River goes down. Excellent. Focusing on those uh, cruisers still. Yes. Good. Let's just keep keep exchanging fire for pen chance like uh, not amazing. I'm just gonna try and pick them off. They're not running. Not at the moment. Oh, Leal, I'm to you. Main belt pen. Wow, you're lucky that that didn't do a lot more damage. We lost uh, this 155 mil. Get some hit back. Get it, main belt pen. Nice. Damage to main gun. Oh, I haven't looked at the battle cruisers. Probably should. Mark threes. Okay. Wow, these are even more expensive. Why are they so expensive? I'm not even sure. Maybe because they're going so fast. See, my slower ships are keeping an eye on the enemy, but yeah, actually, I might be able to do something here. Hit that way, you three. Try and get in behind them. Erwin can keep going that way. How's Leal getting on? She's okay. Uh, moving on. Let's take it up. Lead position. So has a target lock. Let's see if we can 
fix that manually. Damage the main tower. Nothing too serious. firing. Oh, it's because uh, Gien is in the way. the other group doing yeah working their way up and green now slightly out of position Neil on the business end though running out of the line. Yeah. She's quite... Well, she's okay. She's pretty healthy. Oh, not anymore. I'm going to hit the engine. Nice shot on the St. Paul. As the uh, battleships come up from the other side. Right. St. Paul down. Yeah, Leal's taking the most damage here. But the other ships are now getting pretty involved. Let's see if we can get rid of some more ships here. Oh, that was a couple of hits there on uh, North Dakota. Oh, torpedoes. damage, that's nice.
Yeah, the Michigan getting very close here. Ladies, if you wouldn't mind shooting the ship that's right in front of you. That would be superb. Uh, here's the torpedo. Yeah, that's going to miss. Oh, very nice. Got my secondary guns out. Oh, wait. Michigan, you've lost your main ammo. Must have had an ammo dead at some point. That's maybe why they weren't focusing on it. Still need to sink the ships, of course. Reasonable beating, but you're okay. Flooding. Good. I love how the AI knows that I targeted her and is now moving her away. Right, fine. Target the. No, not the Michigan. North Dakota. Okay. Revanche. That battle cruiser is coming in. Take her out. Provence. That one. Up three. And that one. Oh, Georgia has actually taken a bunch of hits. From something. was a solid hit from Eruin. Oh, hello. He knows fire towards the gear. Come on, revanche. interesting version of 100%, but okay. As a many, your sister ships are doing some good damage. Where is Eruin, by the way? Let's keep an eye on my ships. Yeah, can you take out the North Carolina, please? Oh, uh, that's more torpedoes than I thought, but it does look like they're going to miss. Oh, run the damage. No, Ramon's just taking too much here. Get out. Still dangerous until they are properly dealt with. 
i.e. sent to the bottom. Pretty big hit on the cruiser there. Delaware coming in pretty hot. A tree. Hong Kong. Neil. Getting back into the action. And still outrunning the Torps. Down goes the North Carolina. Good. Some pretty big hits going in. It's Irene. Yeah, she's in a fine position. Again, some good damage going. Ew, hello. Seems that the heavy cruiser was not done firing torpedoes. Ah, Leal is out of uh, AP ammo, which is a slight worry. It's been a very long range engagement, so. Ah, oh, I've got the Georgia. Nice. Delaware. Ah, uh, that's actually looking okay. Very nice. That's enemy. I mean, the American ships are beaten up, but they're not out. Two of them have lost their guns. So the big threat is probably North Dakota. She's the only one with her 16-inch guns still operable. going in. Again, these do have maximum bulk kits, so they're not going to go down easy. North Dakota might, though. 3%. She can't fire her guns because she's uh, flooding out. 2%, 1%. 2 percent <laughs> Oh, she's sticking around. Nice job. Yeah, don't make it easy. Heroin has some rudder damage, which is not ideal. Leal closed range. Same for a reason, not, not firing. I know it's HE, but. Yeah, there you go. Still doing some damage. To Missouri, which is also very low, 8%. Michigan is the healthiest of the ships, I think. Yeah. Oh, North Dakota. Flooding again. One. Point seven, point four, zero. Down goes the first American battleship. Oh, 
Oh no, Delaware ramming the sinking North Dakota. Close, I think now they're pretty, pretty crippled. Not really able to fire back particularly effectively. Down goes the Delaware. Oh, Michigan now ramming into the North Dakota. I guess trying to get our engines going and get away. Oh, Missouri goes down to a. I didn't even see who did that, but that was a was a nice shot. Michigan bravely trying to stay on, but. She goes down to. Oh dear. That is not a good sight if you are in the United States Navy. Not a good sight at all. Right. Well, we'll uh, recover any, uh, any survivors and... Um, Well, that's actually quite a lot of the American fleet. I'll check on them in a minute. Uh, damage dealt. Leal, uh, to be expected, seeing as she is the newest ship in the fleet, leading the pack. Uh, she didn't take much damage, though, actually. Heroine did. Okay. Of our ships. Um... The uh, Missouri took 62,000 damage to put her down. Oh, Pasadena and Fall River delivering nothing. The Michigan not doing very much. Hmm. See you back on the map. Ah, uh, alright. 64,000 victory points. Um. Okay. Well. Uh. There is another fleet right there. Um, but I'm going to be a little bit cautious. I'm going to move the ships back to La Havre for repairs. Um, hopefully the army will be able to deal with Western Germany. But I'll repair, I'll fix them up and then I'll I'll send them back out. I'm not actually sure they're going into La Havre. Uh, it's sometimes a little tricky to actually get the ships. There we go. If it says La Havre, or it says the name of the port on the top, then they are. Um, right. How are the Americans doing in terms of fleets? Okay, they still have six battleships, a battlecruiser, seven heavies, and two lights. But uh, they are humiliated. Hmm. How's Britain looking towards us? Not great. I'm going to try and keep them as sweet as possible. But uh, if we get into a war with the British, we get into a war with the British, which is going to be a much bigger deal. Um, but yeah, I really want to kick the Americans out of Germany and Spain. Um, I don't really care about the continental United States. We'll not kick them out of Europe, kick them out of the Middle East, and uh, then uh, they can do whatever they want over there. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go end the turn. Ah, we managed to gain control of Yemen. Right. Well, in that case, this fleet can take over duty. In fact, go provoke a fight, because that's the American fleet. All of it. Go provoke them. Uh, this push is up to 17%. Not bad. Um, 
going to continue improving relations here. Um, the British don't want me to improve relations. <laughs> um, they keep uh, trying to increase tension instead. But um, I think if I keep up with that, we should do okay. Um, but yeah, we're going to hopefully be able to trigger a little battle up here. Okay, little fight acquired. And annoyingly, I almost finished the battle. And then I had a crash. Uh, not the game's fault. Um, it was a Windows update that I didn't want. I had decided to install it and restart my computer, which is very irritating. I've now turned that off again. Um, so I have to redo the fight, which is very annoying. Right. Um, yeah, that's actually... Fine. It's gonna turn you. I know you're like, what? All forward chips must go all forwards. Uh, and yes, the problem is, if I do that, I'll get far too close, far too quickly, and there'll be torpedoes everywhere. So, I'm going to play this one smartish, and I need to make sure that all the cruisers are completely and utterly dead, and that they didn't fire torpedoes as they died, <laughs> um, before I will feel confident in closing in. We have superior speed, we have superior guns. There's no need to be silly. Yeah, looks like they are leading with their battleships, which is fine. Couple of hits on the cruisers. It take me ages for the line to sort itself out. Couple of hits here and there. Nothing too serious. I'm hoping that they would rush forward with their cruisers, but they're not being that silly. Oh, a bit of flooding. There's a sizable hit or two in there. Oh, very big hit. Apos. Very nice. And another one from Aramis. Mm. Not a killing blow, though. Flooding. Groups are basically now separated. Mm. 
I haven't assigned fire orders. Uh, I'm just letting the ships target what they need to target. But again, we're going to stay... Oh, hello! Florida. Uh, missing a turret. Well, that'll uh, limit our ability to do very much. Saw the flash fire in the distance. Yeah, I'm finding this fairly conventional here for now. Light cruisers coming into the teeth of my fleet. Oh, no pens. They are charging in. These things are powerfully ugly. Oh, Mazat. Getting a very big hit. Both light cruisers have taken a fair old bit of damage. Not quite sure where these guys think they're going, but they're trying. Bless them. I think some manual fire orders are called for. Have the companions deal with the cruisers. Slash fire at what they want. Battleships, I think, we need to not start knocking on their door, especially because they're bunched up. Yes, boom! Massachusetts explodes. That is another ship. Effectively out of the fight. Uh, where is Florida? There she is. She can't fire. It's about knocking out their ability to hurt me. Oh, torpedoes. They are on torpedo avoid, so... Kind of need them to uh, get on with that. Nevada. Taking hits. Cycling out of the line. Be nice if we could cause her to properly need to just withdraw. There are still plenty of cruisers in there. So, maximum attack, not on the table. And just try to take the Nevada out of the fight properly. Could you target the Kansas, please?
Bit of flooding on the Varda. Not very much in the way of damage. But I think the Varda has enough flooding. She's in trouble. Switch up to the Louisiana. Or at least she's not able to hit us very easily. Louisiana, though, is close enough to pose a threat. Also, close enough to get... <laughs> Flash fires. Lovely. Right, is that all their battleships out of... No. Truxton is still able to fire. Is. You guys can try and shoot up the Truxton as well. Actually, no, Kissage is uh, still active. Try and get all those 16 inch guns out of the fight. Dallas by accident. And it's the advantage of the AI, well, the enemy, forming a little uh, ball. Even if you miss, you're probably going to hit something. Firing Nevada. Okay. You're a bit closer. Probably have a better chance to hit you. Uh, secondary guns on the Savannah, please. Sarge oh, taking a lot of flooding hits. She's struggling. Come on, still afloat. Still trying to get her guns to bear. Nope. There we go. Down she goes. Florida, not a threat. Yeah, it is Truxton and Kearsarge at the back. Low on ammunition. American battleships are tough to 
sink anyway. Especially when I don't feel I can really close in for the kill. Not yet. Getting there though. And Kiersarge is almost flooded to the point where she can't fire. Oh, Massachusetts taking a lot of fire here. Really do want to take out the uh, cruisers now. <laughs> Hiding behind a battleship, so let's just shoot through the battleship. Ah, okay. Montana sunk. Good, 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 good. Right. Columbia needs to go next. Kisage sinks, finally. Down to HE, pretty much. Right, Columbia down. Okay, Minneapolis needs to go. Right, you four. You need to kill the Kansas. Good. Right, now, with that, I think we can finally move in. Although we're very low on ammunition, which is my only concern. No, not 
AI control. Right, and I want you to slow down, all of you, to cruise speed. It's uh, Truxton, last ship that's actually capable of hurting me. Well, unless I ram into them. Which we might have to resort to. Oh no, Aramis has got plenty chills. Oh, she was um, being dragged, so she's going at 46 knots. Hilarious. In uh, the French style, change the pronouns based on what the chip is named after. Latanian also getting a super speed bonus. I mean, they are slowing down, it's just taking them a while. A circle. Same for Aramis. Um, I know why ships will speed up to crazy speed. Um, it would be nice. Now I might suggest if um, there was a maximum that they would speed up to because it is a little bit gamey that yeah I basically tell my ships to slow down and they're going at 40 knots uh, anyway we have closed in successfully and these Four American battleships. Not much they can do. Yeah, down goes the Truxton. It's the last 16 inch arm ship that can fire. Guam can't fire, she's lost her guns. Let's close in. Super close range. 100% chance to hit. Stupidly high pen values. Finish you off. the Guam. Come past so fast their guns couldn't fire. Right, 
Florida Go goes down. Last state remaining is the Louisiana and Muscaton has decided she has had enough or he has had enough. Bang! There we go. Oh, <laughs> uh, what a fight. Uh, well. Damage dealt Athos. Top dog. Well, and a Grimo. Nice. Uh, D'Artagnan, and then Mousqueton, and then Bazin, and then Porthos, and then Aramis, and then Planchet. Americans, Louisiana did a bit, but that was mostly her ram damage. All the others struggled. I mean, they took tons of damage, but battleships getting knocked out, um, getting their, their guns destroyed. Nasty. Nasty stuff. Right, I'm going to head back to the map and uh, see what is what. Okay, another 95,000 victory points. Um, the fleet actually only got to here, even though I was trying I was trying to trigger the, the battle up here. One of them is missing. Um, I wonder who that is and where they've gone. Um, Mousqueton is repairing in Malaga. Um, Malaga. Oh, down here. Cool. Well, I'll send all the ships to repair down there then. Cool. Well, uh, things are not going great for the Americans. <laughs> They have a single heavy cruiser remaining. Six. They do have six ships under construction. But wherever that uh, heavy cruiser is, it's probably feeling quite lonely. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Oh, there it is. <laughs> There's the heavy cruiser. Oh, my word. <laughs> that is not where you want to end up. Because, especially if I'm really mean with where I put this. Boop. Now you're going to have to go through the Suez Canal, which means going past whatever ships are down here. Actually, it's not that much, but there is some destroyers and things. That's that's a long way home. <laughs> because you can't get to the refueling bases here. It's going to have to go this way. <laughs> um, that is so mean. <laughs> Because where is it trying to go? It's trying to go to Bilbao. <laughs> oh, no. It's so mean. Right. Um, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.